is today's tree. This one's kind of cool. It's got the tallest trunk I've ever put on a tree before. Tons of character. This one's about you know, just under six foot or around six foot tall. I'll have to put a tape on it. From here, I'll uh, put a sealer on it. Put some leveler feet on the bottom. Put an anchor chain on the back so folks can secure it to a wall because this thing is kind of heavy. And although it's not prone to tipping over, let's say if you had a kid or something trying to hang on it, it would be just, uh, it'd be nice to have a little bit of added security on the back. But there it is. Pretty happy with how it turned out. So I get asked sometimes if I'm worried about putting out videos that basically show people how to do what it is that I do. And I think it's just such a funny concept that anybody would think that that would be something that I would be concerned about. Firstly, there are more potential customers um, than I could ever possibly make pieces for. And if even if I created a thousand more chainsaw carvers, and I'm not even so narcissistic to think that, that I'll create one, if I do, that'd be great. Um, but uh, let's say that I created a thousand of them there would still be plenty of room in the market for chainsaw carvings. So that's just a silly concept to me. These videos aren't intended to be educational. Um, I'm not trying to teach anybody how to carve. If anything, maybe I'm just trying to inspire them a little bit to try something new, uh, whether it be chainsaw carving or creating um, with a completely different medium. Um, but I'm having a lot of fun with these. It's been interesting to see my business kind of transition from one type of woodworking to another you know starting out with wooden spoons and then um, getting into power carving um, and then wood turning and uh, and then now chainsaw carving which if I have to be completely honest as much as I love my lathe there's just something so cool about running a chainsaw and being able to create something pretty much on the fly because uh, other than some of the dimensions you can see me drawing out just so that I can get a kind of a rough shape for my block work. I really don't plan these. Um, and I just kind of go with the flow. I'm getting ready to sneeze. Oh, anyway. Um, so yeah, these have been a lot of fun. The birdhouses that I just started, started making are a lot of fun. Maybe I'll make a video on, on making one of those. But yeah, these, uh, these trees are a blast to make. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Um, and, uh, you know, the other aspect of it is when, when I, people say, am I worried about, uh, folks mimicking what I'm doing and having competition? Uh, it's 91 degrees out here and there's not a whole lot of people who would, uh, wrestle around a 300, 400 pound log in 91 degree weather and, uh, get covered in wood chips and, uh, sweat uh, through their clothes uh, comes the three-year-old to do this so uh, yeah be my guest and uh, so hopefully uh, this video inspires uh, you know folks to, to give something new a try um, on a safety note uh, don't um, don't follow in my uh, example um, I uh, should probably wear more safety gear but <clears throat> I don't and uh let the safety police go at it in the comments but uh you do you i'll do me and uh that's all i got to say about that so thanks so much for watching hope you all have a wonderful day and uh see you on the next one take care